Hey you. Who me? What is that on your head? Well, why? What's wrong with it? That ain't hair, nerd. This is hair. Want to have hair like this? Well, yes, I want to have hair like you. Check out my new video, Modern Day Hairstyles, and you'll have hair like mine. Gentlemen, what is up? Looking on the conversation that happened before starting this video, you saw a guy with a well-groomed hair and a guy with not well-groomed hair. The conversation before brings us to our topic of today, which is about modern day hairstyles. So today we will go through which are the new hairstyles which are trendy, which are hip in this time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and let's get into our video for today. Before we get started to our video, just a little bit of information. This video is, is uh, distributed or divided into three sections. The first section is about which old hairstyles have been modernized. Number two is using some products, how you can style your hair. And number three is how to put some spice in your hair. It'll make a lot more sense when we get to the third section, how to put spice in your hair. But for now, let's get started on our video for today. So section number one is how old hairstyles have been modernized. Now in the olden days, there were a lot of hairstyles which were trendy and which used to be accepted but now those hairstyles look just nerdy and geeky and I don't think anyone does pay attention to them. Now I could go on and on for what hairstyles are but let's do about three to four hairstyles which were on which were trendy in that day and how they have been modernized. Number one is a hairstyle which used to have partition. Now, you could either part your hair in the middle, either here, or on the extreme right or left side. You would comb or brush your hair one way, this way, and the other way, going this way. And this would give you some sort of a, a cut right here, which, which, one, 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 uh, which will give you a cut right along here, which was considered old. Those hairstyles have been modernized, I will get to it in just a moment before I have listed all of the old hairstyles. Number two, the hairstyle which was which is old, is where you comb or brush your hair all the way back, and it kind of hangs just um just on your shoulder. And it's not in a ponytail or anything like that. Those hairstyles also have been modernized, and I will tell you how in just a moment. <clears throat> Number third hairstyle which have been is modernized where you would cover half of your forehead with your locks of hair. The, we call that a Justin Bieber style when he was when he just started his career. That style is old fashioned and no one ever does that anymore. And finally last and not but not the least is leaving your hair until all the way until your forehead so it covers your forehead. This is the last hairstyle which was old and is not used anymore. How they have been modernized, let's take a look at it. So how have these been have these hairstyles been modernized and how do you think they should work according to our time today? So remember when I talked about the partition. Yes, how do you have been modernized? Instead of doing a partition of your hair to one side and the side, what you can do is get a fade. Now, you can get a fade here, just a line around here, or you can get a line around here, depending on how you want to you depending on how you want to do your hair. Just down here, have your hair cut to almost like a buzz cut and then you can just style your hair on top 
either going one side this way or just going backwards but in a baby kind of way so that's how the partition hairstyle has been modernized i'll show you a picture of how it is done so here's a picture so that is one um, haircut that one style that has been modernized second is the long hair hairstyle how that has been modernized now if you keep your long hair just how it'll look like it'll it'll be fine but no one does that anymore how did this mean style get top part of your hair comb it all the way back here on the back side comb it upwards and on the sides comb it sideways and when it comes over here tie it into a man bun and keep that bun man buns today are really in fashion and they look sick in this way <laughs> Third hairstyle that we talked about where you would cover half of your forehead with hair. That hairstyle might still be in fashion, but it is not but it's not done anymore because this makes your face look a bit more round and a bit more concealed. I think girls do this, but not guys. So if you want to do a hairstyle, you're welcome to. But if you do want to make this hairstyle, what you can do is keep that hair still here. But Kind of pin it back here so it looks like that you have three or four baby locks finally the last hairstyle putting a hair up to here not good because that's gonna that's gonna give you sort of like a really low forehead and a big face or a round face don't do that anymore but depending on whatsoever that hairstyle is not uh, it's not it's turn. So that brings us to our end of section one. Okay guys, so now section number two, how to style your hair. I will show you some products and some of the tools that I use to style my hair. Everyone knows that, but I will still show my way. So guys, these are the products that I use to style my hair. Uh, one on, starting from the right, we have a comb, a brush, um, cream for holes, a hairspray, and a very unique sort of hair dryer. So, by using these products, we can style our hair. Uh, the hairspray, the cream, and um, by using hair dryer and comb, brush, uh, whatsoever. But, many people style their hair using a hairspray. You, when you go to a supermarket, you find thousands and thousands of hairspray which are used for hair. But you don't know which one is the best and which will not cause any damage at all. This is the hairspray you need, which will not cause any damage and also is the best hairspray because it is all natural with only two, three chemicals which are not harmful. So the name of this hairspray is Herbal Essences. It says, set me up, hold me softly, touchably soft hair, smells so good. And it is number two medium and it's a 24 hour flexible hold and humidity production. Also, it is the ingredients that I'm using right here are all yeah the ingredients are all natural instead of two or three which are um, chemicals but let's see what it says also it says incredible incredible fragrances irresistible style herbal essences potent pleasure for all your senses Know your style, then finish it right. Just a few spritzes of this spray delivers a light hold and the dewy scent of our lily of the valley fragrances. Spray evenly to finish your look, then get a hold of yourself. So, you want your hair to smell good all day and have a incredible hold? This is the one you need. But, 
if you cannot find this hairspray, then you can also use your hair cream. I could only find got to be, which is not the best, but this is the only one I could find, so I'm going to be using this for um, for my uh, for hair to hold my hair. But you can use other ones too. I guess you can get Stillman's, or you can check out some other ones too at your supermarket, or you can just check them online. Whichever one, whichever one you think fits you right, you can use it. Uh, every every single cream does the same does the same uh, work, which is holding your hair in place. So it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, you can use a really less cheap one or you can use an expensive one I would say just get a reasonable price one because you just need to hold your hair for like a day or so and uh, finally how to style your hair now everyone knows how to style your hair but let's talk some stuff about how many spritzes you should use off a hairspray and how much you, you should use your cream or the hold Okay guys, so I'm back with wacky hair. Well, not that much wacky, but almost that. So, herbal essences, the hairspray. How much spritzes of you should use, which is safe for your hair? No more than five spritzes on your hair, but on different sections. So we're gonna apply five spritzes on the top of our hair, just right here. So, one, two, three, four, and Five spritzes on the top, on the back, three spritzes is enough. One, two, three. Make sure you apply the hairspray in a vertical order. In this way, you will get more area done than applying it horizontally. Then one spritz on the side, right here. And finally, the hairstyle that I do, I need to apply hair, just, I need to apply hairspray just right before, uh, just on my headline. So, I can, uh, so I can get that style. So one, two, three, four, five. So that is enough hairspray. It's actually more than enough to do my style. Either get a comb or a brush, whatever you use. I use a comb for my hairstyle. So just comb your hair in the way that you like. And no one's gonna see the back of your hair but if you do want to comb it, I would say do brush it because it's going to make you look a lot better. And then just the hairstyle that I do is holding my hair up. Now you say, why do I comb my hair upwards? That is because I have a round face and I want my face to look a lot more well built and get, have a stronger jawline. So this is the hairstyle which best fits me and gets me that and gets me that sort of volume in my hair that I want. Now also I'm going to use the hair dryer so I can lock this hairstyle in place for the rest of the day. So, setting number one. And there we go. This hair dryer that I'm using is a really unique one because it is a new style 800. It comes with a fine comb. It has two, three settings, so you can detach and attach whichever ones one you need to. One is a brush, and the other ones are really fat, so uh, fat comb, so you can do so you can do what sort of hairstyle you need to. It also dries your hair, and it's also used for styling. So this this is the best hair dryer you can use. Or if you cannot find this one, you can use a standard hair dryer for styling your hair. So this is how you would style your hair. Now, whatever hairstyle you do, do it the way you want to because that hairstyle looks best on you and you know how to do it well. I just did the hairstyle that I do because my face is round and according to your face structure, you can do the hairstyle that you need to which will look best for you. And finally guys, this is bringing us to the last section, which is how to put some spice in your hair. Now I said it will make more sense when we get to that part and I'll tell you what I mean by putting some spice in your hair. By putting some spice in your hair, I don't know, I don't know I mean go and put some chili peppers in your hair because you'll be running around like your hair's on fire and your scalp's on fire. Not a good combination of hair and chili. But to put some spice in your hair, I mean, 
is to use these two products. You might be asking, what are they? Well, there are two types of hair dye. One is silvery white and one is golden or we would call blonde. Now, if you're happy with your hairstyle, you don't need to do any of this stuff. But I want to put some life in my hair. But I want to put some life in my hair so that I have a life on my, of my own and my hair has its own life. And how can and how can we use these stuff to put some life in our hair? The thing is, you can just open one of these up, get an old scoop, get a big scoop on your finger, put it on your palm, rub it, and just apply it to your hair the, you, the way you want to. But I don't want too much of it, and I'm gonna use a golden one, and I'm and we're gonna and we're just gonna use a golden one, and I'm gonna. And I'm gonna use a toothbrush. No, it's not. Don't worry. It's not a toothbrush that I use for brushing my teeth. This is a completely new toothbrush. And we're just gonna apply this uh, dye to our hair to give it some life. So take almost a good amount of uh, your hair dye onto your brush, right? And just apply where you want it. Now I want it on the side. So we're just gonna go like. That is how much I'm gonna apply. And that is how my hair looks after applying it now my hair is jet black so it didn't so it's gonna look a little bit so it's gonna be a little bit dull if you want to get more if you want to if you want to get more you can also apply more and uh, apply it to your quantity how much you want to so that is what I mean by putting some spice in here if you want to put a lot go for it you know and these things are not they don't have that chemically smell they smell good and they won't destroy her as much as other products do. So guys, with that being said, that brings us to the end of our video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and comment down below, which hairstyle do you do daily? And guys, with that being said, this is goodbye from me. I will, te I will catch you next time. Sayonara. Now. You look like a stud. Have hair like this, and let me tell you, you won't ever look like a nerd or a geek. Hey, what do you know? You were right. My hair does look a lot better than it used to at the beginning of the video. <laughs>